Hello everyone, welcome to a VEX VR video. This is on Storm the Castle. The Storm the Castle assignment can be found on VEX Code VR activity page, and we're going to be investigating a little bit about uh, level one and maybe touching on some ways that we can more efficiently do this challenge. So we need to knock some towers down. To open this activity in VEX VR, you need to select Playground and find the one that says Castle Crasher. We're not going to look at dynamic Castle Crasher today. Castle Crasher is set up with five groups of uh, blocks here to make these towers. And in order to get started, we're going to use the function here, when start, as our event. And we're going to simply put in drivetrain the drive forward block here. And when we get started, we drive forward. And the drive forward is a function that will happen forever. What we'd like to be able to do is turn at some point. And we can program this very statically, like driving forward for a distance. Maybe we do 600 millimeters, and then turn right for 90 degrees. And we'll see that we knock them over, kind of, and turn right. Well, maybe there's a more efficient way. Maybe what we can do is use a forever loop. And inside of our forever loop, let's drive forward. And we'll drive forward until something happens. And we notice at the edge of the map here, there is a red line. Maybe we can use that with our sensing. And inside of sensing, we find there are many different things, like for distance and bumper, collision detection, those types of things. But there is also the eye. Eye sensing has a front eye and a down eye as a parameter that we can choose, along with colors. So we're going to go with down eye, detect red. And we will use some logic here. And if at some point during the program running, our down eye detects red, let's turn something like 110 degrees. So when the program starts, drive forward forever. And if the down eye detects red, turn 100 degrees. Now this will work. It might just take a really long time to finally knock over all of the towers. So maybe you can play around with finding some ways to make this happen um, much more quickly. Pause the video here if you need to try a few things. We'll catch each other in just a moment. OK, welcome back. Hopefully you had a chance to give that a try. Uh, here I still am 30 seconds in increasing uh, since I began. We still haven't knocked over the last two towers. So one way that I might go about doing this is rather than moving 110 degrees each time, you could try using a random and let this random function run here and maybe it's between something like 75 and 110. So you get a little bit of variety in how you are interacting with the red line. So that was a very short turn that time. That was also a pretty short turn. So that's one way to do it. Another thing you could do is rather than relying on the down eye detecting red as your condition, Let's try something else, like distance sensing. If the front distance sensor has found an object, maybe we can drive to it. And then otherwise, turn right. Well, the problem here is it's just turning right forever because it's not able to see an object because we're still rotating. So there's another condition, if then else, that we can try. So if our distance sensor sees an object, drive at it. If it doesn't see an object, turn to the side. So the moment it knocked over a tower, it began to turn. So we're making some progress. It's improved, but it's still not great. So I'd like you to go ahead and give it a try to see if using the down eye or the front distance sensor is better. Good luck out there, and we'll see you later. 